In this video, we're going to be doing a walkthrough and review of several B plus units. I love B pluses. And so do I. So let's take a look. Hey there, I'm Rose. And I'm Dan. And, and we, we are, are the Half Ass Travelers. Travelers. Behind me is a Class B plus RV. Now you may be asking yourself, what's the difference between a B plus and a Class C RV? The word on the street is if there's a sleeper cab above the driving compartment, that's a Class C. If there's no sleeper cab or there's storage or something else, then that's a Class B plus. Also, B pluses usually have a more aerodynamic design as you'll see behind me. They're a little narrower and they're not like a big box. So that's the difference if anybody's asking. This is the Winnebago Echo 22A. It's a very small Class B Plus, and it has a really neat feature. Take a look at this. Look at all the storage in there. And there's an entry from the back as well as the other side. It is incredible the amount of storage this thing has. However, to give you that storage, you're gonna see they had to do some really ingenuity, ingenuity, ingenious things on the inside. The Echo 22A is built on the Ford Transit chassis. And just like a lot of their units, right behind the driver and passenger seats are these two seats for passengers. They're not very large, so, but, but if you've got kids, uh, that's certainly enough space for them or one very large adult. The kitchen area is decent. It's got a nice sink. It's got a decent cooktop, gas, gas, grill, or gas cooktop. Not a lot of counter space here. Again, there should be a flap here extending the counter space. We're going to ask for that every time. You're, going to pro you're probably going to get tired of hearing us say that, but it's true. Uh, and back here is a wet bath. Uh, again, when we were on our trip, we really didn't use the shower. We weren't really big fans of the wet bath. But again, what do you expect? It's a 22-foot RV, and there's not a lot of space. But here is the cost for having all that storage underneath. Look under the bed. That's where the storage base came from. The bed is up really high, which I don't mind particularly, especially since it's got these neat steps. The ceiling's a little low, but I, I actually enjoy being able to be up this high. Look at the size of these picture windows. I mean, you can see forever. Uh, this is really a plus for me. Rose, what do you think? Yeah, it's, it's really neat. Yeah. I like it. Okay. All right, let's talk about two features of this unit that we really like and were very surprising. First one is the Laguna table here to allow you to use the table from this seat. And then also this table here allows you to use this as a workspace as well, as well as a dining area between the two seats. But that's not even the best part. Look up. I don't know if you can see that. There's a bed up there. Hang on, let me pull this. Let me grab this camera from you, Rose. That's a bed. It's, it's, it's not extended right now, but the roof of this unit lifts up and there's actually like a kind of canvas sided tent bed up there. It's, it's really interesting. Well, the Echo has a lot of cool features, including that extra bed and extra seating. But for Rose and I, it's not really something that we need. So we're gonna have to take a pass on the Winnebago Echo. Folks, we're taking a look at another Class B+. Plus. This is the Leisure Travel Vans Wonder, and this has a feature that we really like. Come on in and take a look. The Wonder comes with a Murphy bed. That means that these comfortable seats that you can use during the day fold down and the bed is back here. Why is that important? Well, we found it in our Class B van. To use the rear lounge, you basically have to make the bed every night. Well, if you have a Murphy bed, you can just flip the bedding to the back and not have to worry about it. And it's all set up there when you're ready to, to sleep the next night. We love that feature. It's a total time saver and prevents a lot of aggravation. One of the other things we like about this unit is because it has this total wall slide out, look how much space we have. This is a television set 
that is behind the glass. You can watch it while it's down, but it also pops up to this position and you can watch TV from either the bed or these comfortable lounge chairs. We really like that design and that floor plan. Here's another thing that Rose really likes about this unit. Look at the size of this kitchen and look at the size of this sink. I mean, this is like a residential sink right here and it looks like the spout is just high enough to allow her to wash her dishes. I think this is a, an area that you could use for garbage. It's got the induction, oh no, it's got a propane gas cooktop. Very nice feature. Also, it's got a huge refrigerator with a separate freezer. Really nice and it's a freezer drawer, which I like fewer spills that way. And I'm spill prone being half-assed. Check out the rear bath on this unit. Look at how much space there is. I mean, the both of us could probably get ready in the morning at the same time. Eh, maybe. Rose may not like the window over the toilet so much, but I don't mind it. But take a look at this shower. As you remember, this was one of the things we criticized about the Class B, having a wet bath. This is a roomy shower. I've got plenty of room. I'm six feet tall. I've got a little space here. I like the, I like the fact that they have the, uh, the sunlight. You just don't want to park under a big building when you're having a shower because there's no shade on there. Other than that though, this is a thumbs up. The Leisure Vans are available in a couple of different chassis. They of course have the Mercedes. This is the Ford Transit. It's a little bit different than what we're used to, but, and it's a little smaller. Uh, I personally haven't driven one, but it does keep the price down because the Ford chassis tend to be a little less expensive than the Mercedes. This unit is equipped with a 4,000 kilowatt Onan generator. It was tucked here in the back. Check this out for outside entertainment. You can set up your lounge chairs out here, put out the awning, this huge awning, and sit here and watch TV on, on the outside. That's awesome. I love that feature. That's really cool. You'd be the coolest ones at the campground. There's a lot of options with the Leisure Wonder. This particular unit is the rear twin bed. Let's take a look at how this one's set up. Yeah, this unit has a front lounge in combination with the kitchen area. Uh, it, I think that it is a little bit more crowded than the other. Are you liking this, hon? We're not really digging the front lounge area. It's, it's a little too small really for usage. When I lounge in the campground, I like to spread out and put my feet up and there's really not a lot of that there. It seems, I see what they were going for, but it seems like this is just, it's not enough space to do what they were planning. However, if you look in the back, this is neat. This is a really neat feature, this rear twin beds. I mean, Rose and I like each other, but she's got the Jimmy legs, okay? So this is gonna prevent me getting bruised in the middle of the night. I really like this feature. And if you're not as close with the person you're traveling with, this will give you a little bit of separation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this unit has a separate shower from the actual bathroom. This is on the driver's side of the coach. And on the other side, there's a, Rose is gonna have to come over here. Yeah, it's got a pretty spacious shower. I'm six foot tall. Now this particular unit, I mean, I am almost up there in the sunlight. It is not like a lot of space. I think there may have actually been more space in the other shower in the Wonder that had the Murphy bed. I think we're leaning towards the Murphy bed. Another available floor plan is the rear lounge. You're gonna see that this one's very similar to the last one we looked at, except for the, in the back. This unit in the front has that forward lounge mixed with the kitchen that we really, really weren't too big of fans of, but check out the back. This, there's this, a lot of space back here. Obviously they've taken out the, the two twin beds or the, the two beds in the rear and they've made a really nice living room area. The only issue with this, one of the problems, one of the things we didn't like about the Class B is making the bed. Every night you gotta make the bed. Plus this is not, a very spacious bed. You can see it's only this wide. Um, we need more space. Again, the Jimmy legs. This is the Leisure Unity. You can see it's very similar to the Wonder, except that this is on a Mercedes chassis. It's also a hair bit longer. 
uh, but the floor plans are pretty much the same as the Wonder. Here's a floor plan we haven't looked at before. This one's got the two lounge chairs up front. However, there's no Murphy bed here. You can see that there's a window instead. Back here though, is the difference. This unit has the dreaded corner bed. Rose and I are not fans of the corner bed. It is not wide enough for us. It may be good for you. We need a lot more space. Again, Jimmy Legs. All right, now we're looking at a little bit different B+. This is the Phoenix Cruiser 2351D, and it's very interesting. It's a dual slide unit. So let's take a look inside. Well, the Phoenix is built on a Ford Transit chassis, and this is not just any Ford Transit. Look at this dash work. Look, I don't know what you call this, this finish. It's really neat. It's kind of like a gunmetal gray and black. And then you've got the TV overhead. I'm sure that that doesn't work while you're driving down the road, but it's a good thing for the rest of the cabin to have, to be able to see. This unit feels a little bit more like a class A. It's even got separate furniture here that's just sitting. It's not attached to anything, but it's got the nice lounge area up front on the, on the forward slide. It's got a really nice kitchen area with the microwave and a pretty large refrigerator. I mean, look at this with the wood grain. Uh, this is a very large fridge. There's a lot of space in here. The back is also on a slide out the other side. And this looks to be about a, a queen size, an RV queen. It's a pretty good size back here. This is, there's, there's a lot of space in this RV. Yeah, with the rear slide in this unit, they have kind of an interesting feature. If the slide came in while you were on the road, you wouldn't be able to access the bathroom. However, as you can see, the bed is attached to the floor. The slide is only at the upper side. This part doesn't move. The bed kind of folds in the middle. So you can access the bathroom while you're going down the road. All right, so I'm six feet tall and this bathroom is just large enough for my big fat head. There is room enough in here to take a shower. And this bathroom is porcelain. Porcelain, top. porcelain toilet, really nice. If there's one criticism we have of this unit is all of this woodwork, the cabinets seem a little cheap. They're not soft clothes. They're not locking. There's no way to lock these things. It just seems like the cabinetry in here is built a little bit on the cheap, uh, but it does have a feature that we really love. Why don't all RVs have this, this flip up for the, for the kitchen? It doesn't take up any space. Manufacturers, pay attention. We want this in every unit. It's important to realize that this unit is two to four feet longer than the other units we've been looking at, but you can see that that space is all given to you on the inside. Here's another RV by Phoenix. This unit is significantly shorter than the other. I believe this one's 20, 23 feet and one inch, and it's got a really different layout. You can see it's got the door in the back. That makes for an interesting floor plan. Let's take a look. As we go inside, you can see immediately you have the kitchen on the left-hand side. That is different. I think the last time I saw that was on a truck camper. That's, that's very different, but it, th there is a little bit of counter space here, but not quite as much as we're accustomed to. As we come in, you can see there's a huge refrigerator. This is a Norcold fridge with a separate freezer. That's a plus. And then up here, You've got the bench seats on the, on the uh, passenger side, and then this is a sleeper sofa. So this comes out to make the bed. And it's a good place to lounge during the day. <sighs> Pretty comfy, and you got a view too. This unit's also built on the Ford Transit chassis. Uh, again, it's the same criticism we had of the other Phoenix unit. We're not big fans of the wood cabinets in this configuration. It seems like these hinges over time we kind of let these doors sag and they don't, they don't lock. Uh, we really like having uh, locking cabinets in our RV. For a 23 foot unit, this really has a spacious dry bathroom. Also, one more thing that we really aren't a fan of in this floor plan is the sofa bed. Uh, you have to make the bed every night. I don't think that there's enough space in there where you could uh, 
leave the bed bedding on the bed. I may be wrong, but it just seems like uh, it's, it's a lot of hassle to keep having to make the bed. Uh, one of the things we like about Phoenix, and we have never heard of Phoenix before the show, is it seems like they get very experimental with their floor plans. This is a little bit different. I mean, they do have the slide out with the, the couch, and I'm sure this is a pull-out sofa bed, but look back here. This is where the kitchen is. This is a huge amount of counter space. This is a good work. I mean, it's kind of tight here where you're working, but there's plenty of space on the counter. That's a really good use of that corner. And it looks like there's a, uh, this is a garbage chute down here, which is also pretty cool. And the bathroom is pretty much standard. Plenty good size, dry bath. And there appears to be plenty of storage, just like in all the other units. This is the Forest River Sunseeker 2380. This is a class B plus motorhome and it's just under 24 feet. So let's take a look. So this unit is also built on the Ford Transit chassis. You may recognize it by now. It's also got this uh, front lounge area with just the two lounge chairs facing each other in combination with this kind of corner kitchen. Uh, not a lot of space. We're really not too much of a fan of this particular floor plan. As we go around to the back, you'll see it does have a nice large fridge, but it also has a very narrow bed. Uh, we like a big wide bed for obvious reasons. Uh, there's not a lot of, it's very plain back here. There's no cabinetry to speak of. It just, this seems like a very plain unit. Uh, it may be that it's just a uh, budget unit. And if that's the case, it may meet your needs. Uh, it just is a little bare bones. This unit is a little tight. It is a B plus. It does not have a slide, but this hallway could be an issue. You see, I'm not the biggest guy, but look what happens at the bathroom door. Oh. Yeah, no, no, this really isn't for us. It's not, not our unit. All right, we're getting a little bit to the large size of the B plus C range. Uh, this is the Coach House Platinum 4 271. It's a 27 foot uh, unit. Let's go take a look inside. Right, so in the front area, it has these two very comfortable looking lounging chairs and then a really large kitchen area uh, with a large countertop, gas stove, convection oven, and a huge, well, a big fridge and freeze, separate freezer. That's, that's huge. And back here, you've got the two rear beds. Again, uh, super big advantage if you're talking about somebody who's got the jimmy legs. Once again, we have the separate bathroom and shower. This is just the bathroom side. Nice big window there so you can have a good view when you're doing your business. And then over here, behind the glass door, a full-size shower. Uh, behind me is the Airstream Atlas, a B-plus unit. It's about 24 feet long, and the fit and finishes are top-notch. Let's go take a look. The Atlas has one slide-out, and it's not a full wall slide-out. It's just the front room, but it's plenty for the sofa and Murphy bed. The Atlas is built on the Mercedes Sprinter chassis, like many of these Class B-pluses. The driving compartment is pretty much standard, however, the seats in this unit are so soft. I've never felt anything like it. Way to go, Airstream. The Airstream Atlas is very elegant inside. Up front, we've got a large sofa, leather sofa. Across from the sofa is a TV that folds down into the cabinetry. The cabinets are first class lockable cabinets. It's a really, really beautifully designed coach. If you look back here, uh, it's kind of a small kitchen area, not a lot of counter space, but the space that they have, they've used in a smart way. Love having the garbage right there on the countertop. It makes things so easy. It's a nice size fridge, separate freezer. That's a win-win. And look at this bathroom. There's a separate shower. It's not a wet bath. It's a dry bath. Look at the woodwork in the shower. Plenty of room to do your business. And look at all this storage. 
you can't see all the storage here. <laughs> Look at all this storage back here. I mean, there is ample storage. Definitely a B plus. What do you think, hon? A lot more room than our camper? And behind the sofa bed is a Murphy, behind the sofa is a Murphy bed. And you know how much we love the Murphy bed because you don't have to keep making the bed every day. Thumbs up. We're gonna take a look at something a little bit different. This is the Chinook Maverick. It's a class B plus. It's about 24 feet long. And there's a surprise here. Let's go in and check. Oh yeah, no door. You're gonna love this. As with many of the Chinooks, the Maverick has the doorway entryway in the back, and that's gonna allow for a little bit different floor plan. Let's go take a look. Right off the bat, we can see that it's got something that we really like, the separate shower from the bathroom. And the bathroom is mighty spacious. When Rose comes up here, she'll be able to show you that. Uh, it's got a nice size refrigerator and freezer. It's a Dometic uh, microwave convection oven, which is really nice. The kitchen area doesn't have a lot of space. It's got a huge sink. But look at this, the cooktop is over here. So you do have a little more space over here. That's interesting, you hardly ever see that. As we go forward, it's got the breakfast nook area, bench seating, very soft and, and uh, cushiony seats. And it's got this nice sofa and it's a convertible sofa. So this is the bed. That's a little bit of a downside for Rose and I because we were really looking for something that we didn't have to make uh, every day. You can see that bathroom's got a really nice large sink. Plenty of area for taking care of business. Here's something we're not too much of a fan of. These cabinets kind of taper to the bottom. It's taking away a lot of the space. I understand why they did it because uh, it really looks nice to have them come out like this and it makes it look a lot more spacious, but you're losing so much room in the cabinets. This one I mean, there's hardly any room back there. All the rooms up top, it just, it doesn't make much sense to me. I'd rather see the cabinets come all the way out like a standard one, but they are, they do seem to be high quality. So that's a plus. This unit is built on the Ford Transit chassis. Uh, the access way between the front and back is a little bit tight, but you can see they put this wall up here because they had to mount the TV, uh, but it makes for a little awkward tra uh, traversing from the front to the back. All right, here's the battery compartment. You can see the, the Maverick has two AGM batteries. We're a little bit uh, partial to the lithium batteries, but that keeps costs down. And you got another compartment, the Onan 4K generator. Got to keep those batteries charged. And on the other side, we've got plenty of storage, plenty of outdoor storage, pretty standard for the Class Bs. B+. Plus. Pretty standard for the class B pluses. Here's another B plus. This is the Renegade Vienna 25 VTBN. It's built on the Mercedes Sprinter 2500 chassis. Let's take a look inside. Wow. Wow, there is a lot of space in here. Look up above the driver's compartment. Some huge cabinetry. A really nice, not large, but ample sofa, kind of, not sofa, uh, you know, lounge chairs, and they recline. And look at this kitchen. This has exactly what we've been asking every manufacturer to put in the coach. Look at how much that adds to the work area in the kitchen. We love this feature. It's got the TV over the kitchen, uh, across from the seating. It's got the convection oven microwave, a very ample separate refrigerator, separate freezer. And you've got the sink and the mirror right here across from the dry bath, 
just the toilet and the shower in here because the sink is actually outside the bathroom, which I kind of like because while somebody's getting ready, somebody else could be using the facilities. In the back, we've got two twin beds. Uh, they convert. You can see that there's a, a shelf on here to make this one big bed. This is a really large king size bed. There's entertainment back here and there's plenty of cabinetry and storage. There's also a lot of light. That, that blind is closed right now, but there are two windows across from each other back here. This is really nice. There's even storage up under the bed. I mean, look at this. That is a great use of space. Hey everybody, we're looking at another Class B plus RV. This is the 2024 Thor Gemini 24 KB. It's built on the Ford Transit chassis. Let's go inside and take a look. All right, this is another unit that's got the, the sofa. Uh, it's really nice, the cup holders, of course. You got the TV over the door, and then it's got the standard kitchen here. I'm not sure where, this has got to be the table that goes on there, which is kind of neat that the table's so long. And it also has, thank you, it's got the flip up countertop. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you look over the driver compartment, you can see there is a little bit of extra storage up here, but check out this window. It's a nice, nice skylight type of window. I really like when they do this. It, it keeps the coach looking airy and, and light, and it makes, I think it makes it a little bigger. So it's really, this is a really nice living area. Let's go to the back. As we come past the kitchen, you can see it's got the microwave. It's got the standard size fridge, like a medium sized fridge with a separate freezer. The freezer's kind of large, that's nice and it has a lot of cabinetry. Our only criticism of this unit is it's really tight. This is another one of those units that the door doesn't open all the way. We really don't like that. That's not really our thing. Uh, this is a convertible two twins or you can make this into a king bed back here. We do like that feature. Um, it's got the, the TV and plenty of overhead storage and huge windows on either side of the bed. We like that. Let's take a look at the bathroom. Yep, once you get inside, cabinets overhead, normal, uh, kind of smallish shower, tall enough, but it's got a curtain, so that allows you to get your elbows out. Little sink there, pretty standard. But like we said before, this is a little tight. Rose, you digging this? I think that we're gonna have to take a pass on this uh, just because of that tight hallway. Yes. All right. Yes. All right, let's take a look at another B+. This is the 2024 Gulfstream BT Cruiser 5255B. There's a couple of floor plans available in this model. Uh, let's take a look inside. Wow. The first thing you notice when you come in here is how much space there is. This unit has the two recliner chairs. It also comes with a V dinette, a U-shaped dinette. This particular model has the lounge chairs. It also has a captain's chair over here, some extra seating. You've got, of course, the seating up front. We're on the Ford Transit chassis. We have the huge TV up front with storage on either side, storage cabinets above the kitchen. Again, the kitchen area is a little limited. It's not too bad. It's got a huge sink and a very large gas cooktop and oven, an actual oven, and a microwave up top. Lots of space in here. Again, we just wish that they would have added the little flap to give us a little more counter space. That would have been nice. But other than that, wow, this is a lot of space. Huge refrigerator for a, a RV this size. It's massive. And then another feature, we didn't know if we were going to like this or not. 
the separate beds, the two twin beds on either side. But this isn't so bad, is it, hon? I mean, we are right here next to each other. I'm sure there's probably some way where these push together, but there's storage under the beds for clothes. There's storage. There's a ton of storage in this unit. And the one thing we haven't talked about yet, the bathroom, the dry bath, the shower in this unit is huge. It is not rectangular. It looks to be square. And that adds a lot of elbow room. Lots of storage overhead and below the sink. And everything else is pretty much standard. We're going to take a look at one of the other BT cruisers that they have here at the show. This is the 5245. This has a huge slide on the side. It's got the recliner chairs and it's got a fold down bed. Let's take a look. All right, just like the other BT Cruiser, it's got the similar setup up here. It does not have the extra captain's chair, uh, but it does have a lot of open space, which we really like. It has the same kitchen as the other floor plan. The big difference is back here. This one has the bed all together instead of on either side of the coach. Lots of storage here and also a rather large bathroom. Now this one doesn't have as large a shower. This is more of a rectangular shower pan. It's a little smaller than the other unit, but it makes up for it with the larger bedroom. The first BT cruisers we looked at were 24 feet long. This is a smaller unit. It's just over 22 feet. This is the 5210 model. It's got the door in the back, as you can see. A little different floor plan. With the shorter unit, you get a little bit less room. This unit has two twin beds on either side. Again, you can push them together to make one giant, huge Mondo bed. It's got the TV up front. You can see this is also on the Ford Transit chassis. It's got a different refrigerator. This is the fridge and freezer together. A little bit smaller kitchen. It's got the two gas burner cooktop, the same really large sink, and you've got your standard your microwave oven. And let's take a look at the bathroom. The rectangular shower, standard toilet, cabinetry above and below the sink. It's really nice. Plenty of room in this unit. Not bad for a 22 foot. So we really like the floor plan on the first cruiser that we looked at. This one is definitely a contender, right Rose? Absolutely. Thumbs up. All right, we're looking at another B plus. This is the Coachman Ultra Braum 25 MB and that MB stands for Murphy bed. And this one's got a little bit different floor plan you're gonna see when we go inside. Let's take a look. The unit's built on the Sprinter chassis, as you can see. You don't need us to tell you about that. We love the Sprinter chassis, but check this out. Everything's all in one in this unit. Some of the units we saw had recliners and couches underneath the Murphy bed. This has everything underneath the Murphy bed. These are recline, this is a reclining couch, for lack of a better word. So when you wanna watch TV or just relax on the couch, you can, you can lay on the couch, you can sit on the couch, you can put your feet up with the recliner, or, you can fold down the Murphy bed when it's time for night night. I'm not gonna fold this one down because I'm not sure I'll be able to get it back up again. Uh, thank you very much. This unit's got some dark cabinetry, but it's got the white doors. That's a very interesting contrast. There's plenty of space in this compartment. You've also got these compartments right here by the door. There's a little coat hooks in there. That's a really, that's a really neat thing to have there. Another spot for your shoes or what else. And then as you, Let's, let's switch sides, Rose. It's got that thing we absolutely love. The TV stores underneath here, and then it pops up when you're ready to watch, but that's not all. This is clear glass. You can watch the TV in the down position if you need to, if you're using the counter space, or you can pop the TV up and watch it up here. If you wanna see inside and out at the same time, they've got you covered. 
The kitchen is not all that spacious. It's kind of got that corner design. We've seen it in a few other RVs. There's some storage up overhead. It's got a very large sink. A, a, I could almost take a sponge bath in that. And it's got the double induction cooktop. It's got a little bit of space back here, but Rose would probably take that up with her coffee maker. Big drawer that's set up for a garbage can. I love that feature. And then there's more drawers along the side. Across from the kitchen, you've got your microwave convection oven. You've got a separate free refrigerator freezer. I don't see the brand on there. Oh, it's a Norcold. A Norcold refrigerator freezer. Love the spice rack. Ha, 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 ha. Rose loves the spice rack. More storage in the back for clothing. Yeah, there you go. You can see it's kind of dark. Plenty of drawers and storage. You've got your uh, venting down there. Take a look at this. This is a neat feature. On the outside, there is a storage door. It comes through. You can access it from the inside. You've got the inside out. And then you've got another storage cabinet above it. One thing we really like about this unit is the huge bathroom. And look at this. It's got a sliding door. So the door isn't in the way. Great feature. Plenty of room for the toilet. That's porcelain, baby. Nice big shower in the corner. It provides a lot of room. There's a lot of head space there. I'll go ahead and get in the shower. Plenty of headroom. Oh, and I can catch some sun too. There's a, a, a smaller size sink in the bathroom. There are outlets here so you can power your appliances, shavers, whatever, hair dryer, medicine cabinet. These drawers down here, or these cabinets are a little, a little confusing. <laughs> There's no way, it's, there's no storage in there. Those are just for show. That's kind of a downside. I would have liked to have seen them be able to use those for storage, at least a little bit of storage. I know there's plumbing under there, but it would have been a good thing. You've got ducted air conditioning. You've got speakers throughout the unit, all controlled by this head unit up here above the TV. And one of the main things we like about this is how open and airy it feels. This is a really nice floor plan. It's a little bit different than some of the other ones we looked at. Uh, but I think they did it right. So thumbs up to Coachman for this one. Along the outside, we've got the usual Class B cabinets. Lots of space for storage. You come back here, you've got a no more storage space. More storage space. And you remember inside, we were taking a look at that storage space from the bathroom. Look at this goes all the way through to the inside where it can be accessed. Also in this cabinet is your inverter and your solar control for the solar panels on the roof. Come around to the other side. You can see you've got your, your flush controls, flush valves and controls. You've got all the controls for the outside shower, your water, your winterizing system is all here. And then there's more storage up there under the slide, but I'm not gonna go crawling under there now. All in all, this is a very compact package holding a lot of RV. Well, we hope you enjoyed this walkthrough of the Coachman Ultra Brome. The floor plan has got those a little bit of differences that make this unit unique, but it's really nice and airy inside. There's plenty of room. Uh, we really, we give this unit a thumbs up. This is the Pleasure Way Plateau XLTS. Now this is a class B plus RV. However, this particular model is 22 feet, nine inches long. So it's got pretty much the same footprint as our class B van. And as you're gonna see from the inside, it's got a ton more space inside. So let's go take a look. The Plateau XLTS is built on a Sprinter 3500 chassis. This is identical to our Class B van, at least the driver's compartment from here forward is. Uh, we love the Mercedes, almost everything about it, except for the crosswood assist, but we're not gonna get, get into that now. But we love it, it's a great driving position, it's very comfortable, and there's, as you can see, there's plenty of room behind the driver's seat for you folks that are not vertically challenged. Let's take a look inside the Plateau XLTS.
The first thing you'll notice about the XLTS is that this is a rear lounge mod model. It's got this huge living area back here. I mean, it's like a living room. This, these seat cushions are so soft and cushy. This is pretty much the same floor plan that we've got in our current Class B, but these cushions are much thicker. We probably wouldn't even need the memory foam, and that makes it a lot easier because we don't have to store it. Now, there's a little less storage overhead. As you can see, this compartment back here is very tiny. However, there's some outside storage that kind of makes up for that. We love the rear lounge area in these vans. It's one of the things that we like most about our American coach. And this is like the rear lounge on steroids. Facing the rear lounge is the entertainment center. As you can see, they've got the television there. It's right above the bed. Looks like there's a sound bar and some controls for the audio system. Check this out. Look at the size of this refrigerator. Holy cow. I wouldn't be surprised to find an ice maker in there somewhere. I don't see it right now, but I wouldn't be surprised to see it. Huge fridge, major plus. You can see the vents for the heat are out from under the bed. That's a huge plus as well. Look at the size of this kitchen. Rose loves this kitchen. It is about three, three to four inches wider than the Class B van. You can certainly see the advantages of a B plus over a B when it comes to inside space. I mean, this, this kitchen is, is amazing. It's got the induction cooktop that she likes. Plenty of storage, there's lots of drawers. But let me show you the part that Rose likes the best. This unit has an actual dry bath. It's not much bigger than the wet bath in our Class B van, but they managed to squeeze a shower and a porcelain toilet inside. In fact, look at the size of this shower. I'm gonna hop in here real quick. Now I'm six feet tall and I've got plenty of headroom. I'm gonna close this. There's plenty of room in here for me to move around. I mean, but it's, it's, it's not an incredible amount of space, but it certainly will do the job. Thumbs up for a dry bath. You can see why this is a contender for us. This pretty much checks all the boxes. Uh, it's almost perfect. Uh, there is the price. We'll talk about that in a minute. There's one more consideration when we're looking at this coach and it's right behind us, the MSRP. This coach, because it's on a Sprinter chassis, because it's so nice and elegant and has all the trims and trimmings, the fit and trimming, fits yeah, and yeah, trimming, yeah, sure. however you say it, it's a little bit on the pricey side. I mean, it's a lot on the pricey side. So that's definitely gonna be a factor that we have to take into consideration. Well, we hope you enjoyed that video and those walkthroughs. If you wanna see something specific that we didn't get to, just drop that in our comments and don't forget to like and subscribe.